Alright, another update. <laughs> update what? Um like four point uh no. <laughs> it's two point two point four five? Two point forty five, yeah yeah yeah. Up the 2.45. All right, let's hop into it. Get away from me. <laughs> All right, so one of the first things new to this update is the form scroll wheel. So you hold two, click on the transformation, and you're able to transform into that. So it's more of a convenience, nice quality of life update. If I want to switch to Super Saiyan Blue, I immediately change it right here. And there's Super Saiyan Blue Evolution for you. As you can see, cells directly right behind me. If you decide to use Key Sense now, bam! Now all raid bosses have a new icon to them. They also simplified the stats icon right here, um, so it's a little bit more easier to read what to what. The one thing they changed is they pretty much remove critical hits from here. In this update, overcharging was removed in place of a raging soul. So this pretty much requires a full search bar, which you get pretty much for every damage you do with your fist or weapon. To activate this, make sure you're at full bar and to hold E and press C to activate it. It disables all your skills, but it increases your base combat damage. It will wear off when your gauge completely drains. Alright, next up we have a Trunks Game Pass update. The Trunks Sword Combat has been revamped and there are a couple new combos. And Burning Slash has been remade and renamed into Shining Sword Attack. Another quality of life update that the devs added is pretty much if you go to forms, hover over the form specifically equipped and it'll give you additional information on the right side. Very nice touch. My favorite quality of life update in this update is pretty much the combat styles. It tells you all the combat styles that you need if you hover over that combat style. There are two new gauntlet missions that give two meme attacks. This is me finishing the first one. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> hey, that was a clean finish. We'll finish you off with this move. <laughs> uh, amazing. One of the last major changes as they added many new history missions. Of course you don't see it on screen right now. I actually had to complete it in order for the other ones to show. I'm going to finish this in my own time. So um, yeah, enjoy the history missions. So I was told to go to Namek for some reason. <laughs> no clue why, but... Um, yeah, before I wrap this up, I just want to see what's up. Apparently there's something at spawn. I really don't know. I think it's just people messing around, maybe. I mean, it looks normal. If anything, it looks dead. Maybe I'm on the wrong server. Oh, what the? <gasps> no way! <laughs> That's so sick! I actually wanted this new area to be the new spawn for Namek. That's actually cool. That that's an awesome, um, unexpected surprise. Thank you to you lot who told me to come here um, as soon as I can, as soon as the update dropped. Before I end the video, I almost forgot. There's a new snap vanish. So yep, nothing it'll change. There's a lot of things I didn't mention, so I'm going to ahead and put the the update notes on screen right here for you to look at. Feel free to pause it. Other than that, let's wrap this up. Thank you all for tuning into this video. As always, thank you for watching. Much appreciated. I know it's been a little bit, but <laughs> don't worry, you'll see me from time to time. All of you take care.